Bail, as you know, is to ensure that the defendant will, in fact, return for trial on the charges for further proceedings. And one of the things that needs to be evaluated is whether or not the individual is a flight risk. Based on the level of the charges, I, I would submit that there is always um, a, a level of, of risk of flight. Rather than have Mr. Coleman post bail and not have any further restrictions on him pending, uh, the, pending the outcome of the case, um, upon consultation with the family, we felt that it was the family of the victim, we felt it was appropriate to request um, probationary supervision with a, a global positioning system bracelet so that there would be some supervision of Mr. Coleman's whereabouts and, and activities pending uh, the outcome of the trial. Can you explain to me a little bit more about the GPS device? The judge didn't seem to make that recommendation, but is that still a possibility? Was that left open? It's, it's left open. Um, it's my understanding that the court set bail, uh, cash bail, and in the event that that is not raised and posted, the um, probationary release with the GPS bracelet would be an alternative. You had a strong showing of support here from the victim's family. They had obviously consulted with you on what you asked for, Shay. Yes, and, and, and with our office. Um, again, this is a, 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 a situation where there's a, a lot of pain, and uh, they would like to, to follow through with the, uh, the system. Yes, he's accused of aggravated vehicular homicide and which is a, a B felony, um, which is, is based primarily on the allegations. And again, always remember that he's innocent until proven guilty. These are simply allegations that um, he was operating while intoxicated, that he caused the death of Mr. Burkhardt while he was intoxicated. How much vehicular uh, homicide? Um, if he's convicted of the aggravated vehicular homicide, um, he would it's my understanding, be sentenced to state prison.